Hi guys, it's Kirby. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the Wet n Wild Multi Sticks. I apologize in advance, I'm fighting a cold, but if you are interested to find out more about the Wet n Wild Multi Sticks as well as how I got this eye using them, then please keep watching. Okay guys, so we are still in March, which means we're focusing on the eyes, or at least we're trying to. And I wanted to spotlight a product that I recently have been loving. It is by Wet n Wild, and it is their multi-stick. I actually own eight of them. So my first encounter with the multi-stick was at Halloween. They sold these four. Mm, five? They're black packaging. It was black, white, red, green. I have a purple one. Um, there was like limited colors and I think at Halloween this was from their fantasy uh, makers, fantasy makers collection and I think they were like testing out the multi-stick, right? Or at least that is what I'm gathering. I got them and I actually really loved them, not for Halloween looks, but for like a base, for like an eye. The multi-sticks can be used on eyes, lips, cheeks, so they can be used all over the face. They have, how many colors do they have now? So they have 13 colors of the multi-sticks available. They are $2.99 on their website. I personally purchased some of these from Walmart, well, Gina purchased some of these from Walmart for me. I may have snuck them in the cart while she was purchasing things for Emberly. These three multi sticks from Walmart, they are Lavender Bliss, Blue La La, and Not So Calm Waters. And I have already used them for a multitude of looks because they make such a wonderful eye base. The ones that I got at Halloween are just purple, white, red, black, and green, which again, the green, red, and purple are like great for, again, base of eye looks, as well as the white, but sometimes that one smears a little bit more. Um, why I really, really have been loving these, especially for eye looks, is because unlike other cream stick eyeshadows that I've had in the past, these are unbelievably blendable and they make the color of when you put like a powder on top of them so intense and pigmented. It's unbelievable. As well as I haven't had any issues with creasing with these multi-sticks. A lot of times when I use a, a cream eyeshadow stick or a cream eyeshadow or a different type of like multi-stick out there. I have a lot of issues with like the color creasing in my eye. It doesn't blend out well. The sticks themselves are like so pigmented. It's hard to like put it with anything else. But these I have noticed or as I've been using them have been unbelievably wonderful in terms of like blending out themselves as well as being a base for other things. So. What I'm going to do is show you how well they blend out. I'm going to, let me put some swatches up of the colors that I have. So these are the swatches of the ones that I have. The top is just black, green, red, white, purple. The bottom is the Not So Calm Waters, Blue La La, and the Lavender Bliss. They go on very, very creamy, as I will show you with this purple. Just blending with my finger. They blend out so very, very soft. They're just really easy to work with. They're very, they have like a very wonderful texture to them. I should have said this at the beginning of the video. You get 0.11 ounces or 3.2 grams in each color stick. So this is, this is how much product you're getting in them. So it's not like a whole ton of product, but a little bit goes a long way. They do twist up at the very bottom. Sorry about my terrible chipped manicure. So what I'm going to do is kind of show you how I use them, how I like to use them, um, and I'm going to try and create a look the best I can. The only ones that I have are matte colors. I don't have any that have shimmer or reflect in them. They do offer many colors in the Color Icon Multi Sticks with like a shimmer variety. However, I am just experimenting with the matte ones until I probably most likely will invest in more shimmery ones. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to do a purple eye look. 
Um, I'm going to use the Lavender Bliss and the Purple Stick, and I want to do like a lavender, not a lavender, I want to do like a purple halo-y look, so we'll see how that goes out. I've already prepped my eye with a little bit of concealer, and I'll set it just like really lightly, um, nothing too crazy, but I'm going to take the Lavender Bliss, and what I'm going to do is just... Put it right where I want it in my crease, as well as on the inner corner and outer corner of my eyes, just to start to build up that color. And since these blend so very well, don't put the color too far up. Like, put it below where you would want it, because when you're blending it out, the color will diffuse and blend up and out wherever you need it to. So I'm going to take a Wet n Wild crease brush and just gently with no product on it and just gently diffuse that lavender bliss color and I'm kind of blinded by my ring light to see on my monitor but in my mirror and I hope this translates well you can already tell like how soft that has blended out there's no harsh line there isn't any like demarcation of where I initially put the product it's blended out so unbelievably well with just a clean blender brush um, so much so that you might not even have to put product on top of it however that's not how we roll here at Kirby Rose Beauty so I'm going to I'm gonna go into my certify palette and I'm just going to take a little bit of this firefish purple on the Wet n Wild crease brush that we just took, mixed with a little bit of white, because I don't have a true lavender eyeshadow. And I'm just going to gently buff that in my crease. And I'm doing this more so just to set the multi-stick blending so that that doesn't move anywhere. Then in my Juvia's Place, the Deuce palette, or the Dose, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. I should probably look it up. I'm gonna take Cream Creme, on that same blender brush, I did clean it off on a paper towel, and I'm going to kind of just lightly buff that underneath my eyebrow. I'm now going to take the purple multi-stick, and this is where things are going to get like a little dicey, is I'm going to put this on the inner corner and outer corner of my eyes to darken up where this like halo is going to be because I'm going to put gold in the middle. Fingers crossed I'm going to put gold in the middle. Then I'm taking just this little itty bitty buffer brush. It's a Morphe Y22 and I'm just going to really carefully diffuse that purple out where I want it as to not bring it up too far into the crease because I don't want the dark purple like taking over. But even still, like, look at how well like that dark purple has blended up into the lavender even when there's shadow on top of it. Like, that's astounding to me. Astounding! Now to set and build that color up, I'm going into my Juvia's Place Zulu palette and I'm taking this purple color. The Zulu palette doesn't have any names. On a Mikasa E230, and I'm just going to gently pack this on to where I put that dark purple multi-stick. Then after I get that blended out how I wanted it to, I'm going to take a little bit of my Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas in Halo, which is white, on just a small concealer brush. And I'm just going to kind of cut a little halo crease, if that makes sense, right in like the center of my eye. Repacking on that purple on the outer edges for a seamless blend. And then since we've used all my other Juvia's Place palettes, we're going to go into my Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette. I'm torn between using Nairobi, Zuri, and Sheba, but I think I'm going to use Nairobi. We're going to risk it all and go with Nairobi. On a flat synthetic brush gonna look probably like the Lakers here but I think that was the right choice they do have a champagne like colored multi stick I do not own it but if I did that's probably what I would have put in the center of this and then for the 
lower lash line. What I'm going to do is take the Lavender Multi Stick, the Lavender Bliss Multi Stick, which this is another reason why I love these multi sticks and kind of wanted to do a review of them on my channel is because these are also great for like lower lash line for really intensifying and making color pop. But I'm going to take the Lavender Bliss and I'm just going to line that along my lower lash line. And then take that small buffer, the Y22 from Morphe and the Zulu palette with that dark purple color that we used on the inner and outer corners and just kind of diffuse and buff it out. And all this look needs is liner lashes, so let me finish the other eye off camera and we will be right back to finish up. Okay guys, and here is the finished eye look with lashes, liner, finished the other eye. Changed my lip because I was not feeling that pink blotted lip, but this is the finished eye using the Wet n Wild Multi Sticks, and I am again living for this. Quick recap, they are $2.99 a piece. There are, I think I said 18 shades. I will link them in the description box below, so if you are interested to check them out, you can do that on your own time. However, as I said before, they blend effortlessly. They are a wonderful colored base for eyeshadow. Like, I can't even. For the price, for the texture, for the application, for everything, honestly, I love Wet n Wild products. I know that they are like a the most affordable drugstore brand, but they are cruelty free, they are vegan, well, most, if not all of their products are vegan. I don't think that I have encountered a Wet n Wild product that isn't vegan. For the price that they are doing things at, this is the standard of beauty that we should be aspiring to. Like, for all of the people out there who are vegan or who, um, only want to use cruelty-free makeup products but you are on a budget, Wet n Wild people, they have some of the best products out there. Not everything's a winner, just like in every brand. Not everything's a winner, but honestly, their highlighters, their multi-sticks, their liquid catsuit uh, matte lipsticks are amazing, their bronzers are amazing. You can find something that's going to float your boat. I can promise you that. Not sponsored. When Wild does not pay me. I am just obsessed with how affordable their products are and like how amazingly like how amazing the quality is. Like, bar none, best drugstore brand out there. I'm gonna say it. I don't know if anybody else has said it, but I'm saying it right here. So, I will link the Wet n Wild Multi Sticks in the description box below. If you're interested in them, you can check them out on your own time. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Do you like this look? Do you like Wet n Wild? Tell me all of your thoughts in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up! As always, please be sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I would hate for you to miss out on another review or tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, guys.